Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the PlayStation 5 camera drivers to the PC. Also the PlayStation 4 camera version 1 and version 2. So let's get started. Now we have in this machine two different USB ports. The the black ones they are USB 2.0 and the blue ones is a 3.0 version. Uh, some other machines uh, you can find like a, the red one which is the 3. Point, I believe it's 3.1 and 3.2 sometimes it's yellow but uh, there is a, a, a little difference between between them. Um, the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 4 connection, as you can see here, the the cameras, and they are like uh, this kind of uh, port, which is similar to the USB 3.0 that's why you use these kind of adapters this is the simple uh, converter and the other one I'm using here on this uh, version is the PlayStation the official uh, hub this is like a, a small uh, super speed hub so one, you can plug into the 2.0 it recognizes as a USB hub but doesn't work because the PlayStation 4 only uh, recognizes on USB 3.0 so it's not gonna it's not going to recognize in the in the device manager if you open the device manager um, I'm going to show you as well if you connect the PlayStation 5 to the USB 2.0, it recognizes as the USB boot device, but there will be an error loading the the firmware. Uh, let's jump to the to the PC. I'm going to show you how to install the drivers. First of all, you need to visit the, my GitHub website, which is this one. I'm going to leave the, the link in the video description. And here you can uh, find uh, some information about the, the developer the drivers developer also the original repository from the developer as well the PlayStation 4 as well the PlayStation 4 firmware as well repository and the PlayStation 5 camera as well the firmware repository so you can download uh, different um, firmwares if you want to try different versions so you can see we have from um, version 1 to version 9 from pre PlayStation 4 firmwares and PlayStation 5 we have only the only one version uh, this one uh, okay, and here there is some um, tools you may need, um, like USB device reviewer uh, and USB uh, OBS Studio or Minicam. I'm going to show you um, later. Right, first step you need to do is. Um, I recommend you to download the latest um, updates on your system. Let me show you the device manager. 
and also let's see I'm running the system on Windows 11 Pro I'm running a i5 fourth generation with 8 gigabytes uh, RAM DDR3 I believe yeah and <clears throat> right my USB 3.0 controller is the Intel version okay and let's download the files you can download the zip file okay right If I unzip, okay, let's move it to the desktop just to make make easier. Okay, now I'm going to open the USB three viewer, so you can have the big pictures of what I'm going to to use and install right if I show you I'm going to connect the PlayStation 5 camera um, to the USB 3.0 on front of this machine which is a USB 3.0 port now um, at the device manager you can see other device <clears throat> um, so I didn't install the drivers yet so we can see other device and the other device is USB boot so you need to go to install driver click next and done okay now under universal serial bus device you're going to see USB boot so this driver works for the the three cameras the PlayStation 4 version 1 and 2 and the PlayStation 5 now as you can see it's uh, it's recognized uh, as uh, on vision USB boot okay so we are good now we need to go to the PlayStation 5 folder and I'm going to show you on via terminal um, so you need to run this file which is orb and then tab to auto complete and hit enter so now the firmware has been loaded to the camera and the camera is now working so if I open the Windows camera app you can see the camera so as you can see it's it's working uh, as I have like a two big uh, light panels I, I don't need to to change anything regards like exposure uh, and lights and everything right and I can do the same for for the PlayStation 4 camera if I connect the PlayStation 4 camera as well, let's connect it here. Okay. So as you can see, um, it's recognizes. I believe I 
I believe this one and it's USB boot here so I can run no I can't run from the same folder as PS5 I need to go to the PS4 and run again the, for the firmware now if I I can see like two cameras here and if I open up the Windows camera so this is the USB uh, this is the PlayStation 5 and this is the PlayStation 4 camera so for the PlayStation 4 camera uh, we need to do some adjustments so what I'm going to use um, for the PlayStation 4 or even for the PlayStation 5 I can use OBS Studio or I can use Manicam if I use Manicam I'm not very used to this um, this one uh, cameras yeah I can add this is the PlayStation 4 the PlayStation 5 I mean uh, as you can see it's really dark but um, I can change if I go to to properties and go to the driver property change for auto exposure and done now you can use the camera uh, on Skype or any other other software like zoom uh, as virtual camera if I open the USB studio oh sorry it's open already I'm recording the screen um, if I add a video capture device you see manic mannequin virtual webcam so you can use that one or you can use the uh, I believe you can use this one the PlayStation 4 it it's the it depends on of your machine sometimes let's try the other one It doesn't work it doesn't work very well um, in some some machines maybe because mannequin is open but if I change the camera if I add PlayStation 4 camera go to property I can crop the video I can crop, crop really easy with the Manicam for the PlayStation <coughs> the PlayStation 4 camera So next step is um, let me show you an error, a common error everyone's it's doing, which is connecting the PlayStation 5 camera to the USB 2.0 slot. Let me open up the drivers, the device device manager. Okay, going to connect to the 2.0 port and it's recognized as USB boot. 
if I go back to here and try to load the firmware it doesn't work you're going to get error control transfer error so if you are if you're facing this error that means you are not connecting to the uh, right USB port so make sure you are connecting to the to the right port okay so that's it for now I'm going to connect again to the USB 3.0 load the firmware done USB camera and as you can see yeah it's working this is the USB 3.0 connect to the USB 3.0 and the PlayStation 5 camera okay if you liked please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell and give a thumbs up if you like the video as well and check the video descriptions for for the links and thank you very much so see you next time